एवरीवन वेलकम टू केजी केमिस्ट्री गाइस दिस इज अ सेकंड वीडियो ऑन इलेक्ट्रॉनिक स्पेक्ट्रोस्कोपी इन द फर्स्ट वीडियो वी लर्न अबाउट द एनओटी डायग्राम एंड इलेक्ट्रॉनिक स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ द एटॉमिक मॉलिक्यूल्स इफ यू हैवंट सीन दैट वीडियो यू कैन फाइंड द लिंक ऑफ द फर्स्ट पार्ट वन इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स ऑफ दिस वीडियो इन टूडेज वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न द टर्म सिंबल्स फॉर द एटॉमिक मॉलिक्यूल which is very important for msc chemistry students and also if you are attempting csir net and gate examination you can find many questions based on term symbols and this is one of the important topic on request which i am making so let's begin term symbols for diatomic molecules so we'll see first what is the general formula for term symbol so there are two cases the molecule especially we are talking about diatomic molecule it may have the center of symmetry so if you have learned about the group theory you must be knowing what is center of symmetry we will see that then the formula for the term symbol will be 2s plus 1 lg or u where 2s plus 1 is the multiplicity s is the spin l is based on the orbital and g and u is based on the symmetry of that orbital so center of symmetry you can take the example of the atomic molecule as oxygen as the two are oxygen atom from the center of this bond if you go on the left hand side you meet one oxygen atom and similar distance if you travel on the other side therefore you meet another oxygen atom since the atoms are similar we can say that the molecule possesses a center of symmetry represented by i and so this formula for term symbol will be applicable the other case is if the center of symmetry is absent then the case of g or u is not applicable the symmetry is not applicable the formula will be only 2s plus 1 l so for example let's say carbon monoxide you can see on approaching one side it is carbon atom on the other side it is oxygen atom since the two atoms are different so the molecule does not have center of symmetry in this case g and u will not be applicable and we have few points to keep in our mind like for calculating 2s plus 1 that is multiplicity s is a spin so if the spin value will be plus half or if it is in the opposite direction it will be minus half for l value we have orbitals spdf and for this the symbol is given capital sigma pi del and phi and for this orbital s orbital the value for l is given 0 that is for symbol sigma for pi it is 1 for del and for d orbital it is 2 and for phi or f orbital it is 3 so if you keep this value in your mind keeping the shape of the orbital we can decide the symbol for the with respect to the l value the third one is based on the g symmetry if the two electrons are in g g orbital the symmetry of the two orbitals or the electrons is g g into g will give you g that is girad means even and if it is ungirad u into u two electrons are in same u into u will give you also girad that is even but if you multiply the g into u or u into g that gives you u that is ungirad or odd so if you just keep these rules in your mind we will see how we can apply it and find out the term symbol further if you further decide that the symbol is sigma is given the sigma symbol is further have subdivision so this subdivision is applicable only for sigma not for the other symbols so if the sigma symbol is coming from the sigma orbital sigma means s orbital and the value for l is 0 we know that then it is given sigma plus so for the for subdivision is whether we have plus or minus here for sigma valence orbital it is sigma plus if the l value is 0 which we are getting because of the pi pi p pi equal to pi valence orbital then we will consider the multiplicity 2s plus 1 if it is the value is 1 then sigma plus and if the multiplicity is 3 then it is sigma minus we will see how to get this l0 in case of pi by taking some examples so these are the rules which you have to keep in your mind now you are ready to solve the problems very first example hydrogen hydrogen has two atoms 
one electron in each so total two electron one s2 will be the electronic configuration two hydrogen one one electron in the ground state the orbitals will be filled parallel orbital will be there and it is one s sigma g orbital we have seen why we have g here for bonding we have made a table a trick that for bonding for sigma orbital we have j rad and for anti bonding we have just opposite symmetry u okay so you can apply the same concept here so since we have here center of symmetry for hydrogen the 2s plus 1 lg by u formula is applicable g or u since our valence orbital is sigma g2 here you can see sigma g2 so first of all we will find the multiplicity 2s plus 1 for that we have to calculate s value s you have two electron one is plus half other is minus half so s value is zero by keeping this value in the formula you will get the multiplicity one so we got the value of 2s plus 1 is 1 now we need to find l value l value we decide based on sigma so for sigma orbital l value zero and the capital sigma symbol is given so we got here so far one sigma now we need to decide g or u since the two electrons you can see in g orbital so we can say g into g which gives you g here so finally we can say that it is one sigma g now for sigma orbital we know that further subdivision comes whether it is plus or minus for which we decide for sigma orbital the l value is zero and it is given plus so ultimately you got the term symbol for hydrogen 1 sigma g plus so this is how we can derive the term symbols we can take some more important example first we'll see nitrogen two nitrogen atoms are there each nitrogen has you can see 1s2 2s2 2p3 configuration so total 14 electrons will be there and in the first video we have seen if you have 14 electron or less than that then the electronic configuration should be in this order only the difference is the red color if you have greater than 14 this is going to be reverse so if you remember this order sigma g sigma u sigma g sigma u then pi u pi u you can see for bonding we have pi and g rad while for sigma we were having for bonding it was g rad so just reverse then sigma g again since you are having bonding and g rad then anti bonding will be g rad and sigma g bonding is g rad anti bonding is and g rad so by keeping this trick you can learn this formula and you have to just feel the 14 electrons accordingly so each uh, sigma g will have two electron then sigma u2 sigma g2 sigma u2 then two two electrons will go to one by one for pi u and pi u this pi belongs to since p or is having x y z three orbitals so you have this pi u is equal to pi u and the third z axis will be forming the sigma bond and the last two electrons will occupy the sigma g2 orbital and now if you count it it is 14 electron and in that we can see the valence orbital the final last orbital to occupy the electron is sigma g2 so we will use the valence orbital to decide the term symbol now by keeping this sigma g2 first you have to calculate the multiplicity 2s plus 1 so again two electron in the same orbital plus half minus half zero you can find out the multiplicity value one then based on sigma the l value is zero so capital sigma then two electrons are in the g orbitals g and since you have sigma orbital here plus minus further division will come for sigma it is plus value so I'll, again we are getting the term symbol one sigma g plus for nitrogen as well so by using this st these steps you can find out easily term symbols for any diatomic molecule very important example and the msc students can find this question frequently in the question paper draw the mo diagram of oxygen which we have done already in the previous video
Give the ground state electronic structure of oxygen O2 plus, O2 2 plus, O2 minus and obtain the possible term symbols. So we will find out the electronic structure of each and the term symbols. Since it is ground state mentioned, we will see the ground state. In the next video, we will learn about the excited state electronic structure as well, which is very important for uh, either competitive exam or MSc chemistry. For oxygen, two oxygen atoms are there. Each oxygen contributes eight electrons, so total 16 electrons. Since it is greater than 14, the electronic configuration order will be in this manner where now, now sigma g will first fill then the pi u and only difference is this you can fill this and find out the electronic configuration of oxygen one one electron will occupy you can see here based on the Hund's rule and uh, finally the 16 electron the valence orbital you can see here for pi g antibonding is equal to pi g 1. So, 1 1 electron and then next electron occupies again pairing will occur. So, based on this electronic configuration for oxygen we have valence orbital pi g 1 is equal to pi g 1. So, based on this now we will find out the term symbol. Our first target is to find out the multiplicity 2s plus 1. For that we have to find out S value since 1 1 electron in each having the spin in the same direction both are having the value plus half plus half. So the S value is 1 and by putting it into the 2S plus 1 formula we got the value 3. So we got first term is 3 then we need to find out the L value. For P orbital since we know we have 3 plus 1 0 and minus 1 having for x, y and z direction. Z forms the sigma bond. So the center one is 0 and either 1 plus 1 in minus 1. So based on this, we will see the term symbol for this is called doubly degenerate plus 1 and minus 1 for 1. So we will find out the value. So pi g1 and pi g1 means one electron is here in plus 1 let's say and one electron is in the minus 1. So if you find out the L value plus 1 and minus 1 ultimately you are getting 0. So now pi orbital is giving you 0. It means the symbol comes sigma and since both the electrons are here in gg orbital so g into g gives g we have g here. Since you have come with sigma orbital plus minus designation will come here and we can find out that plus minus by for pi orbital if we are getting the L value 0 then we have to consider the 2s plus 1 value which is 3 here and if it is 3 the sign is negative if you remember the rules we have seen on the first page. So the finally the term symbol for oxygen is 3 sigma g minus. You just follow these steps. So first step is you have to write down the electronic configuration correctly to find out the valence orbital. And then once you get the valence orbital, your first step is to calculate the multiplicity by calculating the S value. Then second step is to find out the L value so that you can govern the symbol. Find out the symmetry G or U and if it is sigma then you have to find out whether the sigma is coming from pi or sigma orbital. Accordingly you can decide it is plus or minus. So this is for oxygen. Now if you have O2 plus means one electron is given means total 15 electrons are there. Again it is greater than 14 so same order will be there for filling the electrons and you can write the electronic configuration for O2 plus. In that we have left with valence orbital 2 pi 2 p pi g1 or you simply write down here pi g1. Our first step is find out the multiplicity s value is half because only one electron is there and by keeping the value we get the 2s plus 1 as 2. Next step is find out the pi orbital for pi orbital l values. So L value for pi orbital is 1. We know 
for 0 it is s orbital for pi orbital it is 1 the symbol is given pi capital pi since one electron is occupied having the g orbital symmetry it is given g only and for pi we don't have plus minus classification so the term symbol for o2 plus will be 2 pi g as you can notice it is different from the oxygen symbol now we'll see O2 2 plus which is coming now 14 electrons 16 minus 2 is 14 since it is 14 or less than 14 we have the electronic configuration in the order where you just notice the change is in the pi orbital position now it is different in case of uh, oxygen or O2 plus and after that if you fill the 14 electron we get the valence electron 2p sigma g you can count 2 2 electrons you fill here till you reach 14 electrons and we need only the valence electron orbital to find out the term symbol sigma g 2 2 electrons are there multiplicity we find out plus minus half 0 multiplicity is 1 for sigma orbital l value 0 and so the symbol is sigma 2 electrons are in g so g into g is g since you have sigma here plus minus comes for sigma orbital we have plus value so final term symbol for O2 2 plus is 1 sigma g plus this is also different from the oxygen and O2 plus all the three are having different term symbol and if you see O2 minus means one extra electron is there 17 electron so more than 14 you have again the same uh, electronic configuration as you had in oxygen then you can fill the electrons and find out here earlier for oxygen we were having 1 1 now extra electron will occupy first pi orbital so it is 2 1 for valence orbital we have this pi g2 and pi g1 orbital to decide the term symbol for that first we will find out the s value so two electrons plus half minus half one electron in pi orbital is plus half so finally you get s value half keeping in the formula you get the multiplicity 2 now to find out the l value we know it is two electrons are let's say in x uh, px value or so plus 1 plus 1 and one electron in let's say in py so minus 1 okay so it's not fixed for x and y it can be so first we assume it is plus and the other one is minus so two electron in plus and one so for l value you can find out at these numbers plus one plus one minus one you get one value so the symbol comes pi since two electrons here are in g orbital so we can say g into g and then third electron is again in g so g so we can club it g into g is g again g into g is g so finally you are getting the symbol here g for pi we don't have further division of plus minus so the final term symbol for o2 minus is 2 pi g so this is how we can decide the term symbol for o2 minus find out the multiplicity for pi orbital remember it is doubly degenerated plus 1 minus 1 till we reach okay plus if we have plus 1 so minus 1 will be there so plus 1 0 and minus 1 0 is for sigma we don't have sigma here so you can notice this classification sigma g is already filled right so o2 minus is the again one of the example for oxygen so this is again important because here in all these cases we have learned about the ground state uh, electronic configuration and so we have designed the term symbol accordingly. You can apply the same trick, same method to any diatomic molecule to find out the term symbol. I hope uh, you found this method very easy to decide the term symbol and you can write down any and crack down any competitive exam. All the best. Happy learning.